Donald Trump Jr. was talking about the schools. Mm -hmm. I just came out of school and I went through the school system. I understand what he was talking about. All these kids are told if you get a college, if you go to college to get a degree, yep. you're set. They're just going to hand you a job and everything. Yeah. They don't teach you that. You have to go out in the world. You have to make a name for yourself. You have to push. Everybody right. thinks you just will get handed right. to them. California delegate who announced her state's 172 votes for Trump with her three sons standing by her and she is Shirley Hussar who uh, she's here with her sons Douglas Kenneth and Jonathan Hi. I watched Hi. that moment today how are you I watched that moment Thank today you. you were so animated and uh, larger than life and you were so passionate it was great uh, let's watch that moment let's watch what you said I am the mother of three boys of the greater Los Angeles area. Mr. Chairman, it is so important that my sons, my three sons, woo, <laughs> have hope and opportunity for their future, that there are good jobs, and that there are families that need safety in their communities. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Donald Trump is the candidate that can provide for my boys and all Californians the hope and opportunity of the true American. Kenneth, look at your face. You were so proud. You're Kenneth? I'm Douglas. You're Douglas. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're I'm oldest. You, I thought you were the 19 year old. So, oh, wow. Douglas, how old are you? How do you <laughs> but I'll take it. Hey, Kenneth, you're what? Who's 19? 19. You're, you're, okay. I'm 19. You're 19. You're Kenneth. And you're Jonathan. Yes, sir. You're 26. That's All right. correct. 28. So, oh, 28. Okay. 28. 28. 19, so why, why do you think that you're here with your family, yes. his, his family has been on stage Absolutely. talking about him. Yes. Why is he right for your family? He's right because he's for all American families. Look, we haven't had a president so vibrant, so on point, so non-politician in decades. Mm -hmm. Mr. Trump has such a passion for success, not only with himself, but with his children. But I believe that America will be his extended family, and we're part of that. What's the number one issue? Tonight it was uh, Make America Work Again, but what's the number one issue for you, Shirley? Number one issue for me are urban communities. I'm part of our organization called Urban Game Changers, where we go into urban communities and we hold elected officials accountable. Yes. We're in Texas, we're in Florida, we're in, uh, in Louisiana, and I think the biggest challenge right now is a lot of urban communities are confused. They don't really know who to vote for. A lot of them were for Bernie Sanders. And now Bernie's telling them to go for Hillary, but Bernie made it very clear all the flaws that Mrs. Trump, or Mrs. Clinton, excuse me, has done towards the urban communities. Yeah. So let's talk about that, because when you talk about urban communities, you're mainly talking about uh, people of color yes. living in uh, urban yes. communities. Um, the polls have shown that he is not going to get a lot of support from African Americans. Uh, women, he has issues with women. Are you bothered by any of the rhetoric that's surrounding uh, people of color and women? Absolutely not. Look, African American people have not voted yet. The, the cast has not been put out there yet. Mr. Trump has not really debated Hillary yet. So there's a lot of hope for us. We're there hungry. They want to learn. Look, African American people are tired of the blighting communities of the police brutality. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, we know that the men in blue are important to our communities. We want good police. Say that again. We know that we want good, no, good but police. I think there's an issue, again, you said there are, issues, there are two different issues, but both of them that we can tackle. And I don't think people hear that often okay. enough, right? Right. That, right? We want our men and women in blue. Yes, we do. But we want people to do their jobs properly and not target people. Absolutely. Look, for every action is a reaction. Right, right. For every non-action is an aftermath. Right. And we are encountering the aftermath of the Clinton administration that took place back in the 90s. With Clinton administration doing mass incarceration of black families, no one is talking, talking about, the about crime them. bill. Absolutely. Right. That crime bill was him and his wife. They were champions for that bill. And look at the families that were incarcerated on bull crap. Three strikes are outlaws right. that they incorporated. The difference between crack cocaine and powder cocaine in sentencing. You know? It's amazing. A, a, a little blunt, a little weed that, a, a, that an adult could speak a smoke. Yeah. You know, okay. I want my young men to realize that there are millions of black men with moms out there, black, white, Latino, Armenian, Japanese, that want a family. And California represents that so strongly. Okay. I, I want to bring the boys in, and since you've, talk, you've spoken about them so strongly. Uh, do, you, do you agree with your mother on, on Donald Trump? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Banana masala. Yeah. <laughs> Why so? Why so? Well, realistically, Trump is the one that's for the future that we see as the brightest. That's the one yes. that we see 
down the line we will be able to make something of ourselves to have the opportunity to live and be better than we were and right now things are not that way exactly for myself speaking I can say that I'm a business owner of two separate businesses and Trump comes from a business point of view where he wants Americans to be entrepreneurs and grow I'm at a young age I'm having trouble starting I'm trying to do it the best I can and if I can get a president in place that's gonna help push on is he an example level, for you as a business person definitely or, My goodness, he's done so uh, yeah. well in his own business and all the business people that I look at they go they grew up in a place where they were Republicans and they grew up in a free market with capitalism that gave them that chance and I need that too. Do people go say to you like, Black, why do you support Donald Trump? Oh, all the time. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's because people have this weird type of idea that because of your skin color, your gender, that you all must think the same and act You're as a, a hive mind and not be independent thinkers and think and talk amongst each other. If there's one thing I would ask the American people is to bring back the idea of open dialogue and have intellectual Please. conversations Please. about ideas and things of that model. Communi Donald Trump has brought community. an error of slaying this PC horrible thing that is censoring people from having conversations about ideas. If somebody says something ridiculous, let knowledge and let truth come Take forth for that. and burn away yeah. the lies and stupidity. I've, as you, I've been saying this uh, for the last couple of nights here when, when I people of color, right, and tr who people think Donald traditionally Trump. won't support Donald Trump is that uh, African Americans are not a monolith. There's no... They're not, they're not a what? They don't, they don't, everybody doesn't think alike. We're not right, a monolithic right. group. No, no, you don't no, look in the dictionary and say, this yeah. is what it's like, what you have to do in order to be black. No, absolutely. There's, right. no, there's nothing happens right. like that. Right. What is the most, what is the most powerful thing? Is it, you're the youngest, right? Yeah. The most powerful thing you heard tonight. The most powerful thing that I heard tonight, for me personally, was when um, Donald Trump Jr. was talking about the schools. Mm -hmm. I just came out of school, and I went through the school system. I understand what he was talking about. All these kids are told, if you get a college, if you go to college to get a degree, yeah. you're set. They're just going to hand you a job and everything. Yeah. They don't teach you that. You have to go out in the world. You have to make a name for yourself. You have to push. Everybody right. just thinks you just going to get handed right. to them. Because these schools, they have their underlying agenda of just get these kids to college so we can get our money. And we can keep our schools open and get paid. Yeah. They don't care about these kids. What, I, what do you say to the people who are on the fence? Cause, because right now... Um, the people who are going to vote for him are the people who are going to vote for him. He has very staunch supporters. But he, this is about addition. He needs to add people in order to win this election. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people who may be independent or struggling who are on the fence? I'd say to them, stop for a moment. Stop thinking about the emotional side. Stop thinking about all the political gain that the media may or may not be doing. Look at the facts. Go online. Go to these people's websites. Look at your morals, what you want to get done. What is your agenda? Find that out. Find out their agenda. Then find the person that matches closely. And for us, that will be Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump, that is the answer. There is no other. Yes, Communication facts. must be open. I really, I really feel that he is the candidate that will help us reach the goals that we want to reach. Yeah. Talk not to your community, sick. ask your parents, ask your friends. Who, what do you think? What, so where are you at? Shirley, what yes. does it feel like to have you? How did you get to be the person that, that you, know, you know, spoke for the grace delegate? of God, I go. And the chairman came to me and asked me. I've been involved with the Republican Party for a very long time. Yes, there are advocate. black conservatives. There are black right conservatives. Yes, I was exist. the appointee. I was an appointee for Governor Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I served on two state boards. I was delegate for the for the CRP for 10 years. So give me your final pitch as we're running My final pitch is Hillary Clinton wants to continue to think that black children in America are predators. She still comes in different ways and she says that. We are super predators. She won't say it today, but she said it in the past. I still strongly believe in that. I also believe that education, communication is the key thing to understand. Don't judge us based on the Republican Party's name, but talk to a Republican. Yes. Ask them what that is. We need small enterprise in the urban communities and thank God for Mr. Let me Trump because he understands. Let that. me ask you this. Um, you remember during the last time after the Republicans lost that they, were, they did this whole post-mortem, we're going to have a bigger tent. Do you think the Republican Party has done enough to reach out to people of color? To I think the Republican Party was in trouble. They understood that the people in the troops had understood that we needed a new regime and a new ideology, and that's why we've embraced Mr. Trump. We're not going towards that politician side. We're going towards the Trump side that talks about education, jobs, and security. Security right. is the yeah. key thing that Mr. Trump is emphasizing, and that's why I'm black families need a better security time. and better representative. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you, Amanda. God bless you. God bless California. God bless America. All right. Thank you very much.